Okay, so let's discuss the concept about buoyancy. So buoyancy, in addition to the force of gravity or weight, all objects sub submerged in a fluid are acted on by a force BF. So buoyant force acts upward and is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. So this is known as the Archimedes principle. The upward buoyant force also acts through the center of gravity or centroid of the displaced object, which is known as the center of buoyancy. Okay, so ito na siyang illustrate no? So, an object floating or an object submerged to a liquid is acted by the for, uh, force aside the gravity which is downward no that is gravity we have the upward force na buoyant force no nang ang object nagi tendency nga mo lutaw sa fluid okay so ang weight kuno aning object the weight of the object is equal to the buoyant force in which buoyant force is equal to the gamma of the liquid let's say it's water times the volume displaced so the displaced volume so when a displaced volume or BF weight of object BF gamma water volume displaced so the volume displaced let's say na kay baso with a height of uh, 2cm ang depth too big so once nga ang kaninga object butang ni Mudri ah mo increase ang height no so na ay increase in volume so kani kaning gisaka niya no that is the volume displaced okay so, kaninga volume could also be equal to the volume submerged. Equal to the volume submerged. Okay. So, muna siya ang concept, no? The weight, total weight of the object is equal to the buoyant force. But the volume displaced, the volume displaced, sample ka ni volume displaced, mo niyang gisaka sa pagbutang aning nga object, is the volume submerged. Okay? Volume submerged. Okay, so let us have this pro problem. A wooden buoy of specific gravity 0.75 floats in a liquid with specific gravity of 0.85. So therefore, may mga tono nga dilik siya water kay 0.85 yung specific gravity. Most probably oil. So what is the percentage of the volume above the liquid surface to the total volume of the buoy? Okay, so let's. Um, First, illustrate na to. So, for this problem, um, na konoy wood, wooden boy, boy, sa manang boy, ng murag palutaw, no? Na makita na to sa dagat, yung lutaw-lutaw, bitaw, nga naay pisik. 
Okay. So, let's say um, volume nga na expose no, nga wala na submerge that is V1 and for the submerged volume that is V2. The total volume is V. Okay. So, V1 plus V2 is equal to the total volume. That is considering volumes. No? Considering volumes. So, we have this equation 1. Okay. So, considering weights, no? makaform dia pun taog another equation. Para makuha na to ni number 1, nga percentage sa uh, volume of the liquid at the surface, no? V1, percentage of V1 sa total volume. Percentage of V1 to V. Okay. So, considering the weights, the weight of the object is equal to gamma of the fluid volume displaced. This weight is equal to buoyant force. This is the buoyant force. Okay. So, weight of the object is um, gamma of the object times volume equal to gamma of the fluid times volume of submerge. The displaced volume is equal to the you know, the displaced volume is equal to the submerged volume. Ang na displaced ko ng volume, ang gisaka ng volume is equal to the submerged volume. That is the VD is equal to V2. Okay. Gamma of object is specific gravity times gamma of water times volume equal to specific gravity of the of the fluid. This is of the object. Niba, imong i i extend lang ni into. Uh, in terms of specific gravity times V2 uh, gamma of fluid V2 ok so that is 0.75 times 9.81 V equal to 0.85 9.81 V2 cancel so we we can have v2 in uh, v in terms of v2 so 0 0.75 over 0.85 no divide nimo diha ah. divide nimo all by 0.85 so v so we already have this so we simplify nimo that is 15 over 17 v is equal to v2 Okay. So this is equation 2. If we put equation 2 to equation 1, kakuha put up another equation. So V1 plus V2 is equal to the volume total volume v1 plus and v2 in terms of v that is 15 over 17 v total volume so v1 is 2 over 17 v no pag transpose ni mo minus 1 minus 15 over 17 so v1 is 0.1176 v or v1 over v so that is the percentage that is 11.76% Okay Muna ang answer na to sa number 1 For number 2 Okay So for number 2 if the volume of the liquid surface is 0 0.0145 cubic meter what is the weight of the wooden boy so we have v1 over 
V is equal to 0.1176 So V1 over V Gihatagan taog uh, If the volume of the liquid sur of the Above the liquid surface So V1 is 0 0.0145 So 0 0.0145 Over V is equal to 0.1176 So makuha na ang volume Total volume which is 0.123 cubic meter So makuha ko na to ang Weight of the boy Weight is equal to Specific gravity Gamma water volume So weight of the object Specific gravity of the object so, what is the specific gravity of the object? That is 0 0.75 times 9.81 times volume na 0.123. Mukuha na si weight equal to 0 0.905 kilonewton. Okay, so for number 3, what load that will cause the boy to be fully submerged? So, kung yung ni yung yung case, no? Nanapa siya ay uh, volume at the surface. Kung yung mo siyang i-fully submerged. So, kanin nali nag nagpabilin, no? Nga load. Kung yung mo ni yung slob. So, na, na po siya equivalent ng buoyant force ng madungag, no? Additional buoyant force. Uh, V1 So we can also have Weight 1 so, Additional buoyant force BF2 So uh, This is not the equal uh, um, Equivalent weight For the, for this volume no? Kung ito nang iyo slob So that is the load that will cause the boy to be fully submerged kung ato ning iyo slope ning portion so w1 is equal to bf2 which is specific gravity gamma water v1 so specific gravity points uh, so since buoyant force na siya so that is the that is for the liquid. Kung gai na ni saka siya og mas certain depth. Kung imo siyang i fully submerge yun napagid siya mas isaka. So additional nga volume for the liquid. So specific gravity of the liquid that is 0.85 V1. So yatag Tagaan tau 0.145 uh, 0 0.0145 sa number 2 Okay Pagpila na siya That is 0.121 kN Okay. 